to, to say something about uh, from where I come. Because you know, when you create something, when you create an approach, it's because it's, uh, it's come from you. What you are, the, the life you had, the experience you had. And I have a very specific experience, and I wanted to tell you about it, because I am not a, a simple French Frenchman who is speaking to an American audience. I am, I am a, a man who has a lot to do, who had a lot to do and has a lot to do with diversity, with diversity issues. I am French, French citizen, I speak French, uh, but I have, uh, and I have a very specific issue about diversity and racism. Uh, my parents, my parents were not French, but Polish Jews, half Polish, half uh, Russian Jews, and they lost their family during the Second World War. Uh, family was killed, the whole family was killed by the Nazis, including my four brothers and my grandparents, and I don't speak about my aunts and uncles and cousins. They were all killed. Uh, at the same time, uh, maybe at the, in, the, in the same years where I was born. Um, so it tells you something about my my passion for uh, to understand uh, violence and especially collective violence to understand what is racism, what is hatred. It's also because of this uh, uh, past experience. My father was a complete uh, how do you say English illiterate. That means he was not able to write and to read in any language. He was a very simple man, uh, and my parents were, they, they came in France, they were immigrants, and they used to say, don't trust any French people. And I am French, so but when I was a child, they told me, don't trust French people, uh, trust only, only Jewish people like us. And so, uh, it, for me, it was the beginning of an understanding uh, how it happens that people don't trust other people because they are not they have not the same origin, the same language, the same skin color. Everything you, you, you want to, to think about it. And leaving a, a child full of these tales about war and massacres, uh, I chose to marry a German woman. You see and whose father was a soldier in the Wehrmacht, the German army, and the father was uh, fighting in Poland and Russia, and maybe, maybe killing some of my people. But this man was a wonderful man, a nice man, when, he was, uh, when I met him. And so, it, for me, it was very interesting to try to understand how these people, these kind people, normal people, can be sometimes in a time of war, monsters.